Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is D Car Lady coming at you. All right, today we're going to talk about a Get Response tutorial: How to segment a buyer's list. All right, now I wanted to take a moment to do this video for you guys today because this is something I actually had to kind of research to figure out how to do. Go figure, right? Um, and let me tell you first of all the importance of it, the reason why you want to do it to begin with. All right, so as you're out there promoting your different offers, right? You'll of course, wind up having people who join you in a particular opportunity. So those people become buyers. So for instance, for example, one of the opportunities that I promote is um, Lead Lightning. And with that particular opportunity, when people join me in that, you know, in that particular tool, because it's a tool, then I actually get a buyer's list within that system. It, it's a buyer's list. So I can go back and tell who are the people who actually bought it. Now, Everybody winds up on my email list because you know you have your capture page, right? And then they opt in, so they wind up on your email list. Well, they'll wind up on your email list even after they buy something. Guess what? They still wind up being on your email list and they wind up being on the same email list. So imagine this I put up a capture page, you come, you put in your email address, and you go ahead and look at everything that I have, you know, the presentation, and you go ahead and buy the thing, right? You know, you buy whatever it is, whatever it is. Now, after you buy it, you wind up still on my list. So you're still getting emails telling you to buy the thing, right? You're like, but I already bought it. Why am I still getting these emails? Well, that's where it comes in, where you need to segment your list. So that way the buyers, the people who already bought your product, in this case, the people who already bought Lead Lightning or the people who already bought Direct Mail Pro, whatever program that you're in, the people who already bought that, they don't want to keep hearing about it, <laughs> all right? So that's the whole purpose of doing it to begin with. Now, I will tell you there's more than one way to do this, okay? There's a totally automated way to do it, and there's a manual way to do it as well. The way that I'm going to show you guys today is the manual way as far as um, segmenting your list to a buyer's list, okay? I'm going to show you the manual way. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me share my screen. And now the way, the reason that I'm going to show you the manual way is because I don't have a lot of people to move. And you may be in a situation where you don't have a lot of people to move, meaning you don't have a lot of people to move from that one big list over to your buyer's list. Okay. So that's why I want to go ahead and show you guys the manual way. Um, so that way you guys can get kind of get used to it. Okay. So first, what you're going to do is come into your Get Response account. All right. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't have Get Response, don't worry about it. I'll make sure that I leave a link below so you can go ahead and actually get a $30 credit when you sign up for an account uh, with GetResponse, okay? I'll leave that link below. All right, now moving on. Up here at the top, all right, you see where it says list right up here at the top. So you're going to click list. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the list that all of the people are on, the people who bought, the people who didn't buy. There, it's like everybody is on that list. Everybody's on that, that one big list. So that's the list you're going to go to because you're going to actually take the buyers off of that list. So find that list first, all right? Now, as you're watching this, so, you know, as I go through this, some of the screen will be blurred out, and that's just to cover up some of the email addresses that I have in here, all right? So just bear with me on that. All right, so for my particular example, let use my direct mail pro list all right uh so i have a list here called direct mail pro and i also have a list i that i already made um prior to this i already made called direct mail pro buyers that way i can you know quickly identify uh you know the buyers list that i'm creating so the big list that everybody is on is direct mail pro so let me go ahead and go into that list i'm going to open it up and you're going to click it to open it up all right. And then once that populates, now what you want to do is this is where you need to know who are the people that actually bought something from you. In my case, with this particular company, Direct Mail Pro, I can tell who the people are who actually bought something from me. And probably every business opportunity that you get in, you probably, and I said probably, you probably will be able to look somewhere in your back office to see who your active members are those are going to be your buyers because they're only active if they bought something right all right so 
Uh, for my particular example, what I'm going to do is um, I already know an email address that I'm going to uh, use for this demonstration. But in your case, you will go to your back office of your other business opportunity and find the email address of the person who actually bought something from you because we're about to pull them from this list. All right, let's check it out. All right, so what we do is we go ahead up here where it says add condition right here in blue. Click add condition. All right. Now there's a drop down menu where it says select condition. So we hit the drop down menu. We're going to go over and hit contact details. Okay. Because what we're doing is we're actually pulling the people up. We're, we're going to be pulling the people up uh, based on their details. And in this case, I'm going to show you guys based on their email address. But of course, you can pull them up based on the name if that's what you choose. But in this example, I'm going to choose uh, email address. So over here where it says name. I'm going to hit this little uh, drop down arrow because I'm going to choose email. Now, of course, like I said, there's other things that you can choose from, but I'm going to choose email for this demonstration because this actually is the process that I use. So now over here where it says is, you're going to change it from is. You're going to change it to contains. The best way I can explain this, let's see. When it says is, it's looking for an exact match. So Let's say if you were using name in this field here, right, instead of email, and you put in that you were looking for Sarah, right? Well, if on your list, Sarah has put in her last name, right, and it was Sarah Smith, then it wouldn't actually show Sarah because you didn't say Sarah Smith. So that's why I'm just not even going to play that game, right? I'm not even going to choose is, I'm going to choose contains, because basically it's going to, it's going to pull up all of the um, options that are available, you know, all of the, um, you know, the searches that come up when it contains anything that you say in this next field here. So that's why I'm going to use contains. And I recommend you use contains as well. Okay. Now over here, I'm going to put in the email address because remember right here, I said email. So therefore, I'm going to put in email address for this last box. So I'm going to put an email address. Yeah. All right, and once you put in the email address, then you're going to click the uh, blue button for apply. So go ahead and click apply. All right, now what comes up is going to be if that person is on this list, okay, it's going to show up uh, with that email address. If for some reason it doesn't show up, I'm going to tell you what you want to do at that point is then you will probably want to go ahead and do and do the uh, the search by name instead. So instead of having email here, then do by name. That way you cover all your bases, right? That way you cover all your bases. But in this case, it pulled up for email, so we are good to go. So once you find that contact that you were looking for, okay, you go over here and you wanna highlight it, which means you just wanna click the box. You wanna check the box. See, it's an empty box next to it. You wanna check it. Now I will tell you that sometimes, it will actually bring back multiple contacts because remember I said it, um, that we're using the search criteria contains. So let's say if there was another person who had an email address in here that was instead of loving me some you at Yahoo, it was to loving me some you at Yahoo, which still contains loving me some you at Yahoo, right? The main email address. So therefore it would have pulled up more options. You say, well, oh my gosh, what do I do if it pulls up more options? Just check the ones that you want to move. Simple. Yeah. All right. So we go, we went ahead and we checked that box. Now, once we check that box, the word actions pops up. Now you probably didn't see that. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to uncheck the box. All right. Now watch what happens when I check the box. Boom. Actions. That pops up. Okay. Because this is what you're going to click next. So go ahead, hit the drop down menu. It's a little uh, arrow. Um, pointing down, so drop down menu, right? And now this is where you decide what you want to do. In our particular case, what we're doing is we're moving this contact over to a buyer's list, okay? So we're moving it to another list. Now, I don't want you guys to get caught up in the terminology of, oh my gosh, uh, my list doesn't say buyer's list. It can say whatever you want. I named my other list the buyer's list because it literally is going to be for the buyers when I finish it, right? It literally is going to be for buyers of Direct Mail Pro. 
okay? So don't get caught up in the terminology. It's still the same thing. They're being moved to another list, okay? So in this case, we're gonna hit move. Now, before I click move, I wanna explain something because I got caught up with this one. I was a little um, uh, confused just a tad bit with this one, so I don't want you guys to get confused. All right, now you say, well, there's other things to do here. Right, you can delete them from the list if that's what you wanna do, delete them from the whole account, which means they won't be anywhere in your get response account. Um, you can say, if you wanna send them a message, add a custom field. Now, this one right here is the one that um, you know kind of confused me a little bit. It says copy to list, okay, right here, copy to list. You don't want, in this particular case, you don't want to copy to list because what that means is it literally literally is going to take the contact that's on this list and just copy it onto the other list. So what will you wind up having? You will wind up having that same contact on both lists. So what was the purpose of moving it if you wanted to have it on both lists? Exactly, right? So don't do copy to list unless that is truly what you're trying to accomplish. But in this case, all I'm trying to accomplish is moving people off of my main list, right? Moving the buyers off of my main list over to my buyers list. Because let's face it, guys, your main list is going to be bigger than your buyers list, right? You probably have a thousand people on your main list, and then you may have like 400 buyers or 300 buyers. All right, it is what it is. Not everybody buys the first time. It's okay, right? So anyway, we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna hit the um the uh, phrase for move to list. Click move to list. All right. Now this is where we choose the name of the list that we're moving it to. And remember, in this case of this demonstration, we're moving it to our buyers list that I've already created, and I happen to name it Direct Mail Pro Buyers. But you will name it whatever you want to name your list, right? You already have created. You probably have already watched some of my other get response uh videos so you already did that part okay so now like i said let's go ahead and choose the list that we're sending it to so select the list and we're going to go down let me find my direct mail pro buyers list right here okay it's all the way at the bottom click it all right awesome all right next thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit move awesome now you see it says found zero, okay, right here. All right, so that's letting us know that it has been moved, but we can double check. There's nothing wrong with double checking. To double check, let's go and actually look at the list that we moved people to, which in this case is our buyers list. So go ahead up here to the top where it says list and click list because we're just going to check and make sure that it's over there, right? And go to the list that we um, moved that contact two, which in our case is a uh, buyer's list. And you see it's right here, the direct mail pro buyer's list. And I can already tell that it moved, but I'm gonna show you, but I can already tell that it moved because before I had all, I had only put two people in this list already because I just started doing it today. So right now it, it says three. So I already know it moved, but I'm gonna show you. Click it. So that way it opens up, okay. And now you can actually see all right, you can actually see that the person is here, the loving me some you is over here and it's on this list, okay? So now, you know, this is basically how you move uh, someone from one list to another, but specifically, all right, this get response tutorial was about how to segment a buyer's list, all right? Because you want to make sure that you're putting your buyers in a separate list so that they're not getting the same old information about the same product that they already bought before, all right? So hopefully, guys, you have found some value in this and you can use it in your business. It does not matter if, if you're in uh, Direct Mail Pro, Easy One Up, uh, or anything. It doesn't matter what particular opportunity you're in. You will be able to follow this to the T and be able to handle this yourself, all right? If you have not taken a trial or got an account for get response i'll make sure i leave that link below i'll actually make sure i leave that as the first link in the description so you can get that 30 dollar credit for your get response account so when you sign up for a paid account you actually get a 30 dollar credit okay for that all right so i'll leave that link below also if you have not signed up for a direct mail pro what i'll do is i'll leave a link down below so you can check it out all right because it is a very cool offline marketing program 
Um, I'll leave a link below so you can check that out. That will be the second link in the description. So you can check it out and wrap out with that. Other than that, guys, please do subscribe to my channel. If you have not already done so, crush that bell so you can be alerted the very next time I come up with some content because I am bringing it to you guys every single week, okay? The tools, tricks, tips, mindset, some reviews, things that you guys can use to really boost your business and start making some money already, all right? Other than that, guys, you already know, this d car lady and we're going to take this ride to the top, baby. All right, and we out.